Thanks for joining us here on Wave News at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. John is off tonight. Another teenage boy has been shot and killed in the late hours of the night, and this time it's in the Phoenix Hill neighborhood. The shooting happened around 1030 last night at an apartment complex on South Shelby Street near Madison Street. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer joins us now with a look at the impacts these shootings are having on the youth and our communities. Myra, this is at least the second young man, young teen, killed within 24 hours this week, and while the residents here, here Residents at Elevated New say it normally feels safe. The scene and the response from their apartment complex makes them feel uneasy. At around 10.30 Thursday night, police were called to the shooting on South Shelby Street. They found a teenage boy who was shot and he later died at Uvell Hospital. The second young teen killed in 24 hours. Young people are the kind of ripple effect of the issue and it has not gotten any better. 2X Game Changers Executive Director Christopher 2X says they're constantly working to prevent our youth from being caught up in the city's violence, using early intervention to stop the problems early. Platforms are built on early intervention with 4 to 13 year olds. There's no doubt that young people are being affected in a serious way. The numbers speak to that. Those numbers also showed that as of Thursday, more than 16% of homicide victims in 2024 have been teens aged 1 to 17 years old. The numbers also show that this type of violence is happening all across the city. They will tell you there's not a neighborhood in Jefferson County, unfortunately, in the last going on four and a half years that has not been affected by the gunplay at, at certain levels. Some neighborhoods way more than others, but equally, out of all eight LMPD divisions, everybody's being affected now. Which is now a concern for people living in this Phoenix Hill apartment complex. But their management tells them their safety is on them. In a statement sent to residents, BH Management Services says residents should be as cautious and careful as possible and that they don't recommend for them to walk outside of their homes at night. The statement finishes by saying no one can ensure their safety and that their security is the responsibility of themselves and local law enforcement. People at the complex say they feel for the victim and their family, but also hope they won't have to fend for themselves when it comes to safety moving forward. And as of now, the name of the victim hasn't been released and police haven't given any information about a suspect. Brandon Spencer, Wave News. Thank you, Brandon.